Hi guys, welcome back to Dev Town. So guys, as in the previous video, we have discussed about the minimum and maximum function in the Excel. I have shown you the operation of it. I have also told you about the sum function with a very good example, guys. I hope that that thing is very much clear to you. Okay, if you have still not watched my that video, just watch that video. I will provide the link in the description. There is no issue, guys. So now guys, what we will do in today's video, we will learn about the average function in the Excel. I have also told you this function the before also, but in this video, we will cover that topic in a very deep manner. I will tell you each and everything about the average function. Guys, okay. Okay guys, so the syntax of using average is very simple. We just have to use the average in this type okay guys the syntax is very simple there is no issue guys like syntax in excel is same for like same a uh, similar uh, we can say for every function okay now guys what we are doing here so guys we have a uh, like yeah uh, this data in which we have trainer, poke ball, grade ball. Okay, so we are like having a good data. So we will find average of it by using the average function. So guys, the thing is very simple. We have to just simply follow our syntax. Okay, if I use the average here, okay, and I select these four, and as soon as I press enter, see guys, I am getting four. So guys, four is the average value of this. Okay, and if I want to find the average of this. So again, I will do the thing. Press enter. Again, we are getting the average four. And rather than that, I can also do one thing. I can just simply shift it down here. So all the average values are print here guys. I hope that this thing is very much clear how you can find the average in the Excel. Okay, and if I want to find the average here, how I will do it. Let us include this as soon as I press enter, I'm getting the average, which is the 10. And in the same manner, if I extend this to the here, so I will get the average. Okay, I hope guys like, finding the average is very much clear to you there is no issue still guys if you have any issue you can definitely tell me in the chat box or comment box so the average function is a also a pre-made function in the excel which calculates the average or we can say arithmetic mean a syntax i have told you there are multiple types of mean value the most common type of mean is the arithmetic mean which we call the average okay guys the average function also ignores the cells with the text. So guys, now this thing is very important. Suppose guys, now I have uh, any data in it, like me write the data. And if I print enter, so that our answer is changed. Okay, it is not giving us error. So now let me tell you why. Because it will exclude this cell. Okay, so that this cell E4 will be excluded from finding the solution for the average. Apart from it, if I change the value of it, suppose to the nine, so that our answer will like automatically change guys. There is like no issue. Using this thing is very much simple, though it is very important to learn in the Excel. Let me change this data, suppose to the five. So I'm getting the average six. Okay. And if you are confused at how I have like, run this thing in this grade ball ultra ball master ball so I, I have used the relative reference the references for which i have made a very separate video you can watch it and understand how the references work in the excel now guys there is one more function in the excel which is known as the average if so let me create a new sheet for it average if guys okay perfect so now what we will do so guys as you can see in the screen now i have a very different data to use the average if function 
so guys now what is this average if function so the average if function is also a pre-made function in the excel which calculates the average of a range based on a true or false condition okay so the condition is followed in this average if and the syntax is very simple it is average if as you can see on the screen i have written the syntax the condition is referred to as a criteria which can check things like if a number is greater than another number if a number is smaller or equal to guys we can do different things with this average if function so now guys let's just start so we have name of the pokemon here guys and the type like it is a grass pokemon fire or a water and it is a speed of it okay so now what we will do we will calculate the average speed of a grass pokemon here so the how we will do it the, the thing is very simple we will use the average if okay in th this way okay and now i will select it from here to here after it i will give a comma and now i will like give the type in which we want the average i want it for a grass so i will like select it now with the another comma okay guys now i will select this okay now as soon as i press the enter now i will get the average speed of the grass pokemon okay guys so guys this is how you can use the average if command in the excel guys you can give it a condition and find the answer according to your need and trust me guys that this thing is very much important in the excel and it will be very much used when you begin with the data science journey okay guys because that's the reason i am saying that focus on the videos watch the videos till the last because i don't want any kind of loss of you people's okay so i will now i will find the average speed of a fire pokemon so the thing is very simple again i will use the average if okay now i will set the range from here to the here okay after it i will select the fire and then i will select the speed now if i press the enter i am getting the average speed of the fire pokemon okay now what i will do i want to find if it for a water pokemon so again i will use the average if now i will select the range for it wait a second then comma then water then comma and i will select the speed okay guys so now what i am doing i am doing setting a range criteria average range here okay so you have to do this thing in the same manner now if i press the enter i will get the average like speed of the water pokemon and now if i compare this guys i can see that the fire pokemon is having a like highest average speed among all okay so this is the like beauty of the excel we can analyze the data very easily what is the average what is the sum everything is very convenient in the excel and trust me guys when will you when will like you become professional in it the everything will be like so easy okay and i can also do the sum of all speed if i want see guys using this thing is very much easy okay and now guys now if i change it to any alphabet suppose i write pokemon if i press enter see the average is also changed okay see now it is 52 so now what it is doing it is like neglecting it okay it will neglect the alphabetical if i write the abcd here see now i'm getting the 45 because the 45 is the only speed remaining with the grass pokemon which stand for the bulbasaur okay so in the same manner if i remove it from the here see now the speed is also changed guys okay guys this, using this thing is very much easy okay guys so this is how the average function work in the excel how you can find the average 
and you can also see your formula by clicking the control and the this key so i hope guys that you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit the like button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any update from our devtown channel guys